So, I got my old trusty Notre Dame hat, go Irish, and some names in it. So if you want to see who won the drawing, the giveaway for Luminous Nights, and also what seven fragrances that are both inexpensive and an, an, an enjoyment for me to wear, Meet me on the other side of this intro, and we're gonna get right into it. See you in a second. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Trey Sense. And we got two things going on here today. We're gonna do a drawing, and we're gonna do a review. Discussion, you know how we do it here on our channel. Now listen, before I get into that, I need something from you. I need you to like my video, I need you to share my video and if you feel I've earned it and I'm putting out content that you want to stay up on and continue to watch, give your boy a sub. And if you feel like it, after you've subbed, I would really appreciate it if you hit the icon bell so at least every time I do a video, you'll be one of the first people to know about it. And you can come by and check it out and see what I'm talking about. All right. Now, to the moment, not all, that some of you have been waiting for and I put these names in this old hat. I have no horse in the race. I do not care who wins. <clears throat> Excuse me, not one bit. Some of these pieces of papers are sticking together. All right, That's, those two are stuck together because I use sticky notes. Wasn't a very good idea, okay. Let me close my eyes, mix them up. Y'all can't nobody accuse me of cheating. And the winner is Marcus Farms. I guess I wrote that down right. Marcus Farms. That is the name I drew right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. No. Marcus Farms. Uh, I will leave my email in the description. If not, it is T R A S C E N T S. 75 at gmail shoot me an email and i will uh exchange pleasantries with you and we can get your little decant of luminous nights in the mail all right now to what you came in for seven fragrances for my collection that are both inexpensive and just delightful for me to wear i love wearing these particular fragrances and i'm going to wear them and i'm going to tell you the occasions that I wear them are that I feel like you should wear them if you have them. Let's go. The first one, I was talking to my boy JP about this one. He was like, Trey on the cool, I got to get this fragrance in my collection. And I told him, I said, Jay, Dapper's version is very solid. From the house of Dapper, it is their version of Perfume de Marley's Herod. And you see the levels on that. And I have a lot of fragrances. I have a lot of juice. This is only a third of it back here. I have a lot of juice. This thing, to me, is a great representation of how a man should smell. It smells good, but it's not so manly that it's intimidating. And it has some, some softness, some sweetness, some spice, everything that a man should be, in my opinion, baby. I like it. I absolutely like it. And when this wears, when this is gone, I'll be hitting Dap up at Travis up and said, hey man, I need another one of those. Um, it's just a good smelling fragrance or if I come across this one at a really really good price somewhere I may swoop it up but if not I am perfectly content as you see wearing Dapper's version of Perfume de Marley's Herod. It is solid always gets me compliments. This next one is a real inexpensive fragrance I love to wear it. Oh occasions that I like to wear that a lot of times I've worn that fragrance on first dates especially if it's in the winter time and it's cool I've worn it on some first dates um, anytime I'm putting on a sweater or a hoodie, I like to reach for that scent. It's just got that um, coziness, that cuddle type of effect to it. So when I put on a sweater, I like to put that on. That I've worn, I've worn that to work a few times as well on some cool winter days and get a lot of compliments with it. That's one of those people sniff and go, what are you wearing? You know, I just tell them something my homeboy made and that's that, leave it at that. Um, this next one is one from the house of 
how does he pronounce it? Is it Michael Germain Paris, I think? Uh, and it's called Tattooed Jungle. Ridiculously tackle, tacky bottle. Very similar to the Dolce & Gabbana style, uh, light blue style bottle. Uh, I guess this is supposed to be reminiscent of a tattoo, but it's not about that bottle. <sighs> Fresh, crisp, watery. It's got a nice rose note running through it. Very masculine, but again, not overpowering. Occasions to wear this very, very casual, very laid back, very easy to wear. Something like I got on now, just a t-shirt and some jeans, a t-shirt and some shorts. Uh, as the old boy Goldie say, them hooping shorts, man. Y'all can't be wearing them hooping shorts, man. It's Goldie, sometimes we gotta put on them hooping shorts, bro. But that's what I would wear this fragrance very just very chill very casual now here's the beautiful thing about this fragrance though about tattoo junk you can easily dress this fragrance up with a nice pair of slacks and a button down or a suit and tie or something like that or just a jacket and a button down and, uh, 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 and some jeans and people are gonna think it's an expensive smelling fragrance I've gotten and again Look at the levels on this. <laughs> Look at the levels on this $9 fragrance. I'm telling you, I have a lot to choose from, but I, I wear what I like. I wear what I want, honestly. And this is one, again, when the sun first starts to come out in the spring and the days start to get longer, you still got that nip in the air, but you know it's gonna get hot in the evening time or the vice versa for the fall when it's, you know, uh, gonna cool off at night. I, I just love reaching for this fragrance. It just has this, certain freshness about it and it just gives me a really good feeling i absolutely enjoy tattoo jungle by michael germain and i've had several of his fragrances they're all pretty good now when i'm wanting to feel um masculine and i feel like i'm clean and i feel like i want to wear something that again is not too much but smells good but just smells masculine manly and professional the, a fragrance that doesn't get a lot of talk and i think because it's been outshined by its predecessors it's from the house of paco Rabanne, and it is x's i like this fragrance i like even the box it came in was very similar similar to uh, the light blue by doce boxes with that velvet look i can't wait to smell it with that like velvety feel and this one again the best words to describe this fragrance to me is uh take a page out of my boy manuel from manuel's house of aromas it's nice elegant clean and it's masculine i mean it's it's all of that it just when i picture this fragrance i picture a guy that's got himself together that knows what he wants out of life um that knows where he's going you know he's driven he's motivated but at the same time you know like uh it's funny how, and this is totally off the subject, but it kind of relates to this fragrance. It's funny how people with money don't dress like they have money. They almost dress like a college, a poor college student. Plain sweatshirts, plain jeans, you know, ride around in Prius. And guys that uh, want everybody to think they have a lot of money out of ones you, you see, you know, buying 150, 200, 300 thousand dollar cars with, you know, uh, 200 thousand dollars worth of jewelry on their neck. You know, those are the guys that are normally, you know, they may be a little bit better off than me and you, but they're not rich by any means. Rich people don't do stupid things with their money. They make their money grow for you, for them, work for them. This is the type of fragrance. To me, it just works for you. It doesn't have, you don't have to walk into a room with this fragrance on and announce yourself because it has a presence about it that's just, you know, that just says, hey, you know, I'm here. I'm gonna draw attention when I come in because of who I am, not because of what I have on or because of what I pulled up in, but because my aura is in here. You can, like when I'm just, I don't know if you got an aura, but Trey Sense got an aura. When I walk in the room, I ain't gotta say nothing. When I walk in the room, I feel like Tupac is all eyes on me. That the life of a, that I ain't going to, but it's just that now it's it's got an old school 
slightly barbershop, slightly fougere type of vibe. But again, it comes across as nice, clean, elegant. And I like it. I really enjoy wearing this fragrance. And I picked this up at Burke's Outlet for $40. Nice bottle as well. But again, it gets overshined by Black X's, which is one of my favorite strawberry note. Uh, uh, what is it? Black X's Night. It's another one that it that this one gets overshadowed by. It gets shadowed by everything else from the house of Paco Rabanne with the name X's on it. But nonetheless, if you want to smell nice, clean, elegant, ma masculine, and still smell sexy and not be doing too much, give this one. That's exactly when I wear that fragrance. It's one of those when I think I'm fly, which is seven days a week. But when I didn't put on a nice sweater or something like that, you know what I'm saying? That's when I pull that out of thing, when I really, really think I'm fly. This next one is when I wear it, when I just want to be different. When I want to wear a fragrance that I don't feel like anybody in the state of Alabama has in their collection, or at least they're reaching for it. Um, uh, and it's from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. And it is blue no and this is the edt i would like the edp as well but this is the edt oh man and this is just a nice blue fragrance but it's got a little bit more in it than most blues you know what i'm saying it's just not your average blue fragrance very well made and it's one of the it may be A little bit smoky, a little bit resinous. Oh, there comes that smoke. Man, that's good. That's so good. Mm. Yeah, a little bit smoky, a little bit musky, but it's just different. I like it. It's different. It's not like, this is not your rent of the mill fragrance. Some people are going to spray this on and go, mm -mm, that ain't for me. Or some people will go, I like it. I want to spray it on but I ain't gonna wear it out nowhere. Me, I'm like, I'm gonna hit myself five or six times with this bad boy before I leave. It smells good. It smells very Middle Eastern. It smells very Middle Eastern. And that's the beautiful thing about this fragrance journey that I have went on. Speaking of fragrance journey, what's up my boy fragrance journey 01 if you're watching? Down in Memphis 10. Um, is your nose grows. Just like everything else. Hey, that rhymes. Not like I'm Toucan Sam or Pinocchio, but just saying. You, your taste change, your nose grow, you, you experience different things. You understand, okay, they're trying to go with a middle, they're trying to have a Middle Eastern vibe with that. So you learn to pick up on this and pick up on that. And, you know, and it's a beautiful thing. The progress is, is beautiful. And that's what I get from this one. It's just a nice Middle Eastern vibe uh, with a touch of blue. And I think Nora means night, and that's exactly when I wear this fragrance. Cooler night, so I'm going to do something like, you know, go look at the Christmas lights. So, you know, yeah, that's right. Try to do stuff like that too. When you just, you know, going to look at the Christmas lights, or just do something, you know what I'm saying, festive, and it's a little cool outside, you know what I'm saying? Maybe start in October, November, when that nip starts. And last year, we didn't get a nip at all in November. <laughs> Or December, it was like February before we got a small nip. But you know what I'm trying to say. But an evening out type fragrance where you know you may be going caroling if you still go caroling, whatever. You know, you going to the basketball game or a football game or something. That's when I see this fragrance. Now it's not a sporty type of fragrance at all, but it is a, a romantic, come close. You smell good. What is that type of scent? Is the vibe that you're gonna give off with this one, and that's what you're gonna pick up. Hey. You smell good. What is that? Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir. Like that one a lot. Now, staying in the theme of blue, easy reach, t-shirt, jeans, jeans and a polo. Uh, tired of looking at the collection. Don't want to overthink it. Still want to smell good. Don't want to have to keep reapplying myself. Versace Dylan Blue. That's the one I reach for in this situation. Beast mode, beast mode, yeah, that's me. Extremely beast mode, love the color scheme. Of course, it's blue and gold, so you know it, it catches my eye every time that Notre Dame thing 
Um, I was just sitting here thinking. I drew that man's name out and I put it right back in that hat. It was Mark, Marcus Farms. Okay. Like, old man moment, y'all, forgive me. Well, I, I like this fragrance. I do. It's a fresh blue. Again, as I say on this channel, it is not the reinvention of the wheel by any stretch of the imagination. But you are not going to spray this fragrance on and have somebody tell you that you smell bad either. Just saying. Great smelling fragrance. Denim, denim, denim. Polo, polo, polo. Easy. Grab, go, winter, summer, spring, or fall and don't have to worry about it. You know what? Dylan Blue. And I absolutely enjoy wearing this fragrance a lot. Oh, that smells good. Now, spring and summer are summer into fall. Mostly, I want to say spring into summer is when I reach for this fragrance the most. It was one when I smelled it because I got a sample in something that I purchased. I could not wait to get it. And I thought, man. And I finally came across it at TJ Maxx and I was so excited and so happy to get it from the house of Burberry. It is Mr. Burberry. Indigo, like Chris Brown said. I love wearing this fragrance in the spring because it's such a citrusy, minty type of scent. You get that mint, but you get that citrus in there as well. And it's just bright. Only knock on this fragrance is the performance is not the best. Oh, man. Oh, that minty. I think that's Neroli. Just, just a bright fragrance. I love wearing this in the warmer weather. Maybe that's why I'm not getting the best performance because it's going to be 105 degrees outside. And this is what I want to reach for, especially if I got on some hoop and shorts and a t-shirt. And I'm just, you know, chilling. Say I got a a wild hair and I thought you know what I'm gonna run to TJ Maxx real quick I'm gonna throw on throw this on in my sneakers and I'm gonna head out uh gotta be comfortable for the drive right right so this is one of those I throw on oh yeah fresh blue uh, citrusy minty type of vibe I can see see me wearing this Chilling on the beach in Biloxi, you know, fixing to go to one of the little restaurants and sit over and look in the ocean and eat me some scrumps and stuff like that. Uh, uh, some seafood, uh, linguine alfredo or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Just something good, you know what I mean? Or some chicken wings or some nachos, whatever, you know, with a little drink with an umbrella in it. Yeah, that's how I, how I feel when I wear this. Whether I'm there or not, that's how I feel. Absolutely love it. Love that Neroli mint type of blast that you get from Mr. Burberry Indigo. I don't think that fragrance ever got the hype and love that it deserved. And last but not least, again, I don't know why I've got spring and summer on my mind. I guess because we're in the middle of the summer. Um, this is one I like to wear. And I wore this fragrance a lot in the winter. I broke trends with this one for some reason. Uh, broke my own trends and wore it a lot in the winter, especially if the sun comes out and, it, and I know it's going to be pretty no matter what the temperature is. If I know it's going to be a bright, pretty, sunshiny day, I reach for this fragrance and it is from the house of Lacoste and it is from the L1212 line and it is Lacoste L1212. Ooh, fresh. And this one just does it. It just does it. And again, this is one of those head scratchers because you go nose blind to it and you think, I can't nobody smell it. But then you walk by a person and if somebody smells good, it fills the room up nicely, but it's not too much. It just leaves that great scent trail. It just, when you walk by, people are like, and I put this on in the middle of the winter uh, with some bright colors and just it just makes me feel festive. It just makes me feel bright. Anytime the sun is out, I, I will reach for this fragrance and put it on. Uh, I have L1212 Blanche too, the white one. And I, I reach for this much more. I reach for this much, much more. I absolutely adore this little fragrance. It just smells good. It's a compliment getter. And for some reason, I've always worn green when I wear this. I reach for a lot of green or blue when I wear this. I know I said bright, but you know, they have bright shades of blue and bright shades of green as well. But that little alligator gonna bite you. But anyway, 
that is it man that has been seven fragrances from my collection that i absolutely love wearing any occasions and what they make me feel like when i wear them now again mr marcus farm farms um i'm gonna leave my email so you can shoot your boy email and i can get you your what did i do with the decants of luminous nights my brother i hope you enjoy it and i will fill it up for you so you can have it enjoy it and i will appreciate it and also this came from my boy jacari pike so you got two reviewers blessing you with this just a little token of our appreciation jp put in on this too because that's who sent this to me which led to me purchasing the luminous nights in the first place enough that's it that's all i got no more get off edit it thumbnail it, and get it up so you wonderful wonderful people can see it. i hope you all are having yourselves a beautiful beautiful week Hump day morning. Guess what day it is. So thank you all so much for returning to the scene of the crime. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. So with that being said, I love you all. God bless you all. Peace.